I'm Professor PC, and nice to see you guys again. Uh, so, I remember the little art assignment that I told you about next time, uh, last time. So, um, you guys uh, may guess something about uh, uh, the uh, situations of East Zhou Dynasty, but today we are not going to talk about that because uh, uh, we will continue this uh, things about that next time. But uh, today we are going to talk, uh, going to talk about the spirit of aristocrat. You know, aristocrat plays a, a important role in both Western and Chinese society. So aristocrat are charged with many um, specialties and many uh, powers that is not owned by normal people. First, they may escape uh, some escape the chart uh, of the uh, the court. Second, they have uh, if they kill people, uh, the penalty on them will be reduced. Also, uh, also uh, these guys can earn a lot of money from the government, uh, but they also have to serve the country when the country is in danger, because all of these guys have a spirit of aristocrat. This is very common at the uh, prehistoric time and uh, in Xia and Shang, but after these dynasties. This kind of spirit actually vanished little by little, and finally, it this um spirits actually became nothing but just some memories and uh, things in fictional books. So, uh, remember I talking about Four of Shang. So the king of Zhou didn't make all of the aristocrat being, uh, being uh, killed or stuff. Actually, he remained all the position of these uh, guys and uh, appoint them as the leader of the uh, different regions of China. But Bo Yi and Shu Qi and uh, uh, these two guys uh, are closest friends and they are all aristocrats at that time. So uh, the Zhou Dynasty people wanted them to become the leader of some regions in China, but they refused this offer. Uh, refused this offer because they said we born as the men of Shang and we don't want to be a man living in Zhou. But so the king just let them become normal people. When they are eating, they they will ask other guys, is this wise uh, from Zhou Dynasty or Shang Dynasty? And other people will tell them, Shang Dynasty is over. It's a it's an era that should be forgotten. Now it is all belong to Zhou Dynasty. These guys found themselves furious because they said because we are born in Shang and we received the presents and becoming aristocrats of Shang, we have to remain this kind of things. We want to eat rice and we want to be on the bed that belongs to Zhou Dynasty. Other people try to convince them that uh, they are ridiculous people and uh, they shouldn't do these kind of things, but actually they just starved to death because he refused to eat anything growing on the land of Zhou Dynasty. He said, once being a Shang Dynasty people, I will never eat a, rice, eat a single piece of rice or became, breathe a single uh, piece of uh, uh, the air in Zhou Dynasty. Uh, many people nowadays said that they, they just even don't care about their own life. They think life is something not important and less important than these kind of aristocratic spirit. But at the point of view of Asian people, you shouldn't blame these people for what they did because they long thought that their country is Shang Dynasty and the Shang Dynasty will never end. But when these things happened, they found as aristocrats they shouldn't accept the offers of another new dynasties, and they should insist insisted that they're still living in the past period. I know lots of people think this kind of sort story is misleading, but you have to understand these things. They were born in this country, born in this dynasty, raised by this dynasty, and receiving the money from this dynasty. When the dynasty ends, actually their identities end at the same time. Though most of the aristocrats of Shang Dynasty actually received the Zhou Dynasty's offer, but in the ancient history, these men 
shouldn't be regarded as great because they deserted their own country. Though the own country is passed away, passing away. So these kind of guys was put as models for young people at that time because they are loyal. They are not only as normal people, even the Zhou Dynasty's aristocrats think what they did these two men is really great and really beyond the normal action of normal people. That's why they were called an aristocrat, because aristocrat is a group of a sense of belonging. What what he belongs and he should be him. But that things became uh, much different uh, many years later. And uh, many years later, these aristocrats no longer believe in what countries are. They just believe in money and corruptions. So this is a change of people's spirit. One spirit remains, the base of one country remains. When the spirit dies, the base of one country is vanishing. So uh, maybe uh, I have another little assignment because you have to keep in track on our class. You know, you may uh, know something. You may have to find something about aristocratic uh, spirits of your own country, uh, own country and the society you are staying in. Because uh, we have to do some co uh, com uh, compare. So you can compare with what I talk about in this class and with the situations of your own country and this thing will be much better because you can have a much better sense of what I'm talking about. So thank you everyone for listening to today's classes and have a, have a nice meal and goodbye.